नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पॉवर कंज्यूम्ड और सप्लाइड इन एन एसी सर्किट इन डीसी सर्किट पॉवर इज गिवन एज पी इज इक्वल टू वी इन टू आई बट इन एसी सर्किट सिंस देर इज सम फेस एंगल बिटवीन वोल्टेज एंड करंट देर फोर पॉवर इज डिफाइंड एज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वोल्टेज द कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ करंट विच इज इन फेस विद वोल्टेज इन डीसी सर्किट पॉवर इज गिवन बाई P is equal to V into I. In AC, since there is some phase angle between voltage and current, therefore power is defined as the product of voltage and that component of the current which is in phase with the voltage. That is P is equal to V I cos phi, where V and I are root mean square values of voltage and current and phi is the phase angle so power in ac will be p is equal to v into i into cos phi let us define instantaneous power suppose in a circuit voltage v is equal to v not sin of omega t since current will have some certain phase so we can write i is equal to I not sine of omega t plus phi. Then instantaneous power, power instantaneous is equal to V into I, or it can be written as V not I not sine of omega t sine of omega t plus phi. This is called instantaneous power. Let us define average power. We can also call this as true power. the average of instantaneous power in an ac circuit over a full cycle is called average power remember its units is watt so power average we can write it as v rms i rms into cos phi v rms can also be written as v not by root 2 i rms we can write i not by root 2 into cos phi or it can be written as half of v not i not cos phi half of v not cos phi as i rms so this can also be written as i rms square into r or v rms square r divided by z square where z is the impedance so average power can be calculated by using any of the relations apparent or virtual power the product of apparent voltage and apparent current in an electrical circuit is called apparent power the product of apparent voltage and apparent current in an electrical circuit is called apparent power apparent power is always positive p apparent is equal to v rms i rms v not i not by 2